Academy for Social Change presents Chief of Staff. Imagine you win a school raffle and get to be principal for the day. You're so excited, but after an hour, you realize there's too much to do on your own. You have to visit all the classrooms, meet with teachers, reprimand the overly chatty student, take calls from parents, etc. So, you decide you're going to ask your best friend Dylan to help. Dylan will be your assistant for the day and help you with your tasks and decisions. Now, the job feels much more manageable. The Chief of Staff serves a similar role to the President of the United States that Dylan serves to you when you are Principal for the day. They help to alleviate some of the President's many duties and responsibilities, but they also oversee other positions and check in on the members of the Executive Office. They are the highest ranking position within the Executive Office of the President, and they have other Deputy Chiefs of Staff below them. The White House Chief of Staff is essentially the President's right-hand person who assists the President by making their agenda become a reality. Though specific tasks vary based on the administration, the Chief of Staff generally oversees the White House staff, manages who comes in contact with the President, controls White House communication, and advises the President on various issues. Though George Washington had a private secretary who assisted him in certain tasks, it wasn't until 1857 under President Buchanan that there was an official office of the private secretary at the White House. This role consisted of both personal and professional tasks that required skill, caution, and loyalty. It wasn't until nearly 80 years later, in 1939 under President Franklin D. Roosevelt, that the White House Executive Office of the President was created. These individuals serve under the President, assisting the Executive Head in their daily tasks and decision-making. As part of the Reorganization Act of 1939, Congress approved this new organization. The EOP is made up of the President's close advisors and is overseen by the Chief of Staff. In addition to delivering the President's message to the American people, the EOP deals with domestic and foreign issues such as trade and security. While there is no requirement that the President has a Chief of Staff, this role has become a permanent position in the White House since President Nixon's administration in 1968. Since then, every President has chosen to appoint a Chief of Staff. The Chief of Staff is an incredibly powerful position that is often overlooked and is not well understood. However, the Chief of Staff has also been called the Gatekeeper, the Power Behind the Throne, and the Co-President. The Chief of Staff's office is down the hall from the Oval Office, which allows them to manage the President's assistants and advisors who work in the West Wing and Eisenhower Executive Office. Therefore, it is critical that we understand the role of the Chief of Staff and the way that they serve the President. Since the Chief of Staff is a senior aide to the President, they often have a significant impact on the decisions of the President and the information the President receives. Though we do not get to vote for Chief of Staff, they should still be held accountable for their actions within the White House. After all, a president is only as good as their staff is. Now it's your turn to think further. What kinds of decisions do you think the chief of staff helps the president make?